Hello guys, good morning. I honestly went into this day saying I wasn't going to vlog because I, if you guys are new here, I vlog every single day of October, but honestly it just feels weird not vlogging because I've been in the routine of doing it for so long. So I asked you guys if you want me to continue and a lot of you said yes, so I'm just going to keep going because honestly what else am I going to do <laughs> besides vlog and I love it. Currently on my way to pick up Jay, I'm starting the vlog a little bit later today, it's 2 o'clock. I've pretty much just been editing all morning. I did a quick workout in my basement, like really quick, talking like less than 30 minutes because I have so much to do today and I just wanted to get it over with. And I showered, just letting my hair air dry. We're going to the mall. If you guys saw my previous vlog, I sold my Super Puff, my regular Super Puff, because I honestly just don't really know why I got the short one because I'm always cold and I live in Canada if you're new here. So like our winters are absolutely freezing. I sold it so I can get the longer one. So I'm gonna go grab that today. Joe's gonna come with me. And then I also need to make a return at American Eagle. I bought a flannel and like, I don't know, I wore it around my house and I'm like, why did I buy this? Like, I don't really like the colors anymore. Like, this is my life. I, I'm i so switch constantly. And then I also have to go to Canadian Tire and get some new wipers because the ones that came on my car are really bad. Like, if it's raining, I can't see. Like, it's game over. And that's really dangerous. And it actually snowed last night. So good thing I got my snow, snow tire. Good thing I got my winter tires on last week. I'm ready. I'm prepared. And then I also need to get a scraper because I don't have one. And the frost is already coming. There were some on my car this morning. So it's just going to be a really, I guess, winter-based vlog. Happy November. Are you guys excited for Christmas? I am. I mean, that's the only thing I'm really looking forward to. This year has literally sucked. So I'm sure a lot of us are really excited for Christmas. Let me know how you guys are in the comments. You got my mask. No. You don't? It's in the side door, right? No, it's not there. Okay, it's a good thing you have 30 of them. Yo, what's that? Hey! I want one. What? They're for my coat. Oh, Remember how I sold my other one? Does anyone else's boyfriend just forget a mask every f time? Every time. What did you get? I got mushroom underwear. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Going to Ritzia. To get my super puff, you guys know. I have a little super puff bag. Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> oh work. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how to fix this. I don't know what's going on. Why is it so bright? How do I fix that? That's the exposure. So wait, turn it so down. You have to go. Yeah, you have to turn down the exposure. <laughs> There's just no way I'm wearing that. I'm not wearing a puffer <laughs> jacket. I told him I wanted to buy him a Superman because they have the super puff, but for men, and he said you. no. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So I didn't end up vlogging that much yesterday. I went to the mall to get my super puff, and then Joe and I stopped in at Kelsey's. It's attached to the mall, so we just grabbed some lunch, had a little date. And then we went to Home Depot. I didn't vlog any of this because I had no hands to vlog it. But we went to Home Depot, grabbed a bunch of paint because Jay's building a studio in his basement. So we actually got majority of the painting done yesterday and give myself a pat on the back because I did all of the room painting and it looks so good. Hi, kitty. I was gonna bring my camera in and do like a montage moment, but honestly, I didn't want to risk getting paint on my camera. But I might show you guys some today because I'm not sure if we're gonna do a second coat or not because it honestly looks really good. But if not, I'll show you guys the final product. I didn't end up going to Canadian Tire to get my wipers or a scraper because we just didn't have time. So I'll probably have to do that today or some other time I speak when I have time. It is just after eight. It is 8.23, I just made my coffee, I had a banana. Is Jango coming up? Sir, come here. Guys, you must love my animal content. Come here, come up. Oh, so he sniffed out the bags before I could even mention them, but I have some packages to open up for you guys. Firstly, 
we have my super puff my baby i just posted a photo on my instagram of me holding this because i'm obsessed with the bag that this comes in super puff has its own specific bag what's also really cool about it is it has the size that you got on the bag so i guess there's a bunch of different bags um depending on what size you got which is really cool and it has a zipper on the top this is just going to be a really nice tote as well just in case you guys are wondering how much it is it's 350 dollars before tax and then including tax it comes to 395 so i did sell my old super puff the regular one i had was 250 before tax and i got 200 for it so i only had to pay 195 because i just put the cash i got for my old coat towards it i personally feel like it's worth it you can choose what to spend your money on and don't judge me on what i spend mine on i was really debating between the black one the one that i got and the matte pearl i'll put a photo here it is so beautiful like i don't know if i'm gonna regret not getting that one but i talked to so many people about it and i was hoping that they would say the cream one so that i could justify buying it and feel better about it but everyone said not to get it because honestly it's going to get dirty really easily and if i scuff up against my car like when i get in it like it's game over i'm gonna have to wash it right away but it is so cute we get really bad slush where i live so i just feel like it's not really practical if i was gonna get the cream white one i would just get it in like the midi or the short version don't think i'm gonna get another one but if i do get one maybe i'll get a different color so i got the tna super puff in the matte black color and i got it in a size small my old super puff was in an extra small and i found it to be a little bit too small like it fit if i was wearing a hoodie but it was really tight and honestly let's be real we're wearing a bunch of layers under our coat because we're not just going to take it off and be in a t-shirt like it's freezing out excuse me so yeah i just got the matte black color i got it in the long one as well it is very long on me because i'm short but the winters here are freezing so it's definitely necessary and i'm just obsessed with it so i will have it linked down below they have like over 30 colors or something which is crazy obsessed with it and i feel like black is just like a classic color my old one i had in soft shine black so it was in between the matte and the glossy and I liked it, but I'm more into the matte one to be honest. I might do like a full on styling video for the super puff. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, like extreme cold weather outfits with the super puff, let me know in the comments because I'd be kind of down to do that. I think that could be really fun. So in my previous weekly vlog, I sold my new platform Doc Martens because I got a size six when I'm normally a six and a half. And I wore them a few times and just realized they were way too small for me. So I sold them on Depop and I was looking at some boots from Zara because they look like the Prada dupes. But they were all sold out in my size. So I originally wanted the ASOS ones first, but they were sold out. But they came back in stock and I'm really excited about these. I think these are going to be amazing. If I don't like these, I'm just going to return them and then get the Doc Martens in a bigger size. But I want to try something else. I got them in a size 7. So I'm hoping they are going to be that perfect size. <gasps> okay. These are cute as shit. Oh my god. Let me try this one on to see if it fits. I'm like hoping. Oh, They're too big. How are they too big? Guys, the hunt continues. This is my life, guys. Nothing ever goes the way it's supposed to. That's upsetting, but you know what? That's just life, baby. And then I have one more package. I don't really know what this is. I'm doing a collab with Shein, so I'm thinking this might be that, but it looks kind of small for what I ordered. What the fuck is this? I'm so confused. This company reached out to me like probably a month ago asking me, do you want to know? Um, asking me to collab like on a video because they sell makeup mirrors and they wanted me to do a Halloween get ready with me and I said I was down to use like the mirror in the video and give them a little shout out and stuff but then they're like oh sorry we don't ship to Canada but it just came like I'm really confused <laughs> why that just happened so I'm gonna have to reach out to them again but I guess I'll give them a shout out in this video it's basically a rechargeable trifold vanity mirror with three color lighting it's called the ease hold it actually looks like it's gonna be really nice so I'm just gonna open it up here I guess here are some of the overviews that it has on the back 
stepless dimming, three color lighting, silky pearl texture, trifold design, eye care, LED tech, two times, five times, 10 times magnifying. So I'll have this link down below if you guys are interested. I just was not expecting this at all. Here is all of the cords, charge it. And then this is the base. I like that it's white too. It's like right up my alley. And it opens like that. This is really nice actually. So I'm gonna charge this up and then I guess I'll show you guys later what it looks like. Those are all the packages for now. I'm gonna start editing a vlog now. Okay, currently in the Tim Hortons lineup, it is 11.23. I don't know why I always tell you guys the time. I feel like that's weird, but I'm wearing my new Super Puff, and guys, I'm so obsessed. It's so warm. I'm really happy I got the black, not the matte pearl, just because it's a lot more practical, and I feel like it's really chic, too, for, like, a city girl winter vibe. So I'm on my way right now to go to Joe's house, and we're going to be finishing up the painting in his studio, um, and then we're going to come back to my house and I'm gonna shower and like get ready and stuff and I'll probably start editing the vlog because I didn't have time to do it this morning. I did a collab with Fashion Nova and I just finalized that and sent it over for review. So hopefully it will be up tomorrow. I'll have it linked up here if you guys wanna go check it out. But I really love the pieces that I got. They're all super cute. But one thing that's really weird is, not really weird. When I was with my friends for Halloween, we spilled a pina colada on my camera like it went into the lens and everything which were just really stupid like that was my fault for leaving it just out in front of all the drinks like on the table whenever i turn on my camera the lens doesn't open up fully and they kind of get stuck together and then i have to like pop them open with my nails and i don't know how to clean the lens like i don't even think you can so at least my camera still works though. Her take order. Hi, can I please have a large iced coffee made with milk and add a shot of espresso in that? Okay. And a hash brown. Okay, that's everything? Sort of yep. 540, thank you. Thank you. Hash brown for Joe because he literally doesn't eat in the morning. Like that's his daily routine. He'll go to Starbucks, or not Starbucks, he'll go to Tim's, get that iced coffee and a hash brown and then doesn't eat till like dinner. Guys, men, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can I have a straw as well? Thank you. We're just about to touch up the corners, but look at my amazing paint job. It looks incredible. I think we did it a little backwards because we still have to do the top by the ceiling, but it's gonna work out fine. And then we're gonna do another coat. Joe's just getting me, oh, look at me. I'm wearing a bonnet. I feel like I'm in Pioneer Village. But it's getting me a red Solo cup to put the paint in so that I can do the top. Good morning, everyone. This is the cutest thing ever. Good morning, Bailey. Good morning, Tinsels. Good morning, Jenga. You look the cutest with all my pillows. Welcome to my garage. I'm just taping up a package because I need to make a return of those ASOS boots um, that I showed you guys in the vlog a few days ago. I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, so I'm just on my way to the gym and I'm going to ship them up. But yeah, I've just been doing computer work all morning, so I'm going to take a break and go to the gym. I didn't get to go yesterday because Joe and I were painting his studio all day, so I was way too tired after to even do anything. I also ordered a different pair of boots on Zara. I'll show you guys when I get back from the gym. They should be coming tomorrow. I just got to the gym. You can't even see. But I just quickly need to talk about something before I go into the gym. So I go to LA Fitness 
and I need to tell you guys something that happened at this exact LA Fitness that I go to if you live in the area. So obviously you know that there's only like three locker rooms in each section of the change room. There are three sections, so I'm pretty sure there's no more than 10 lockers open, so you have to carry everything with you, and they're advising that people just carry their gym bags along with them. And my mom works with someone who has a friend that this happened to. I don't know what happened after this happened, like if the person got caught or something. I'm assuming they did because there's cameras everywhere, but basically this girl left her gym bag at one of the machines. She like went to go get water or get sanitizer to wipe something down and she went back to her machine and her bag was gone and they stole her bag and she went outside and her car was gone too and they stole her car. So you guys, just be careful when you're at the gym. Like, don't leave your stuff unattended. And I used to do the same thing. I would leave my bag at the machine and I would go, like, get a medicine ball or something and come back. And now I'm literally never going to do that again. So just be aware of your surroundings and never leave your stuff unattended because I can't even imagine what I would do if that happened to me. Like, she obviously called the police on the guy. I hope they caught him or her just be safe and i just literally cannot believe that that happened at this exact la fitness that i go to like that is so scary anyways let's go work out okay hello guys i am back from the gym i'm all showered up i'm letting my hair dry in this little towel because i'm just gonna do some bubble braids with it and i'm just about to do my makeup but if you guys remember i unboxed that mirror a few days ago so i'm going to use it to do my makeup today it came with a cord to charge it so i had it charging a few days ago and it just like plugs in the back there so firstly it has padding on the bottom so it doesn't slide and it will stay placed when you're doing your makeup which i love to turn it on there's a button in the back and then also it pivots which is amazing because when you're doing different sections on your face, you can adjust it and fix it to the lighting and everything and how tall you are. So I love that. And then it just opens up like this. There you have it. So I'm going to tilt mine up a bit to do my makeup. And I love that you can just reach under and turn it on. Like, that's amazing. I don't know what these do. Oh, there's like different settings. There's a warm one, a bright one. So I'm going to have it on the brightest one. And I just love that it's white too. It's very sleek. And I've never really, I've had a light up mirror before, but it didn't really work that well. So I'm really excited to use this. ready and I'm about to go shoot this outfit for an Instagram photo. I have my hair in a bubble braid. It's still wet but I think it looks fine because it kind of sleeks it back a lot easier than if it was dry. My everyday makeup and you guys will see the outfit details in an upcoming video. I'm filming an outfits of the week. If it's not out already look out for that but you guys have been requesting that like crazy because I used to do them all the time on my channel and I wasn't gonna do it because I honestly don't really do anything like I just wear sweatpants all the time but this week I am doing a lot of things so I actually have reasons to dress up and look cute yeah I'm just waiting for Kale because he takes all my Instagram photos and I just love this outfit so obsessed also guys look at Tinsel I'm so obsessed with her hi baby oh <laughs> Hello. I've tried to get some behind the scenes, but you can barely see us and I don't know how to fix it. Hey, <laughs> it's just your sweater. Good morning, Vietnam. Cascadelia night. I'm gonna make some guacamole. I'm gonna show you guys my mom's secret recipe. I don't wanna be in it. No. Why? Look at me. Taylor. You always beg me to be in the video. Well, I want to be in it when I look good, not like this. <laughs> Stop wearing your hair like that then. I'm hot. Do a bubble braid. I used to wear my hair like that all the time. In the 90s? In the 80s. Oh. Do you know your sister's on the Garage Clothing website? Yeah, I saw there's another thing with like 1.9 million followers or some posted or some kind of thing. What? That, um, Princess Polly did, and so did Shop M. 
Princess Polly did what? Put you on their website? Um, no, they, they posted me on their Instagram. You're on their Instagram. I am. Yes, mom, I know. Just oh, like they just saw your post and put it on there? They didn't yeah. ask you for it? No. Oh. No. Okay. Where Garage sent me that stuff. That's what I thought. It was. You can't put an onion? I don't know why it's so difficult. So first you're gonna take half an onion. Aiden, I'm vlogging. Are you? I'm yeah. okay. I can't do it. Edit that part out. <laughs> no, I'm keeping that in. Shit. My nipples are hard. Okay, so we're going to dice. This can't cut an onion. I know. Half of an onion. We're going to take one and a half avocado. The other half of my avocado that I had for avocado toast at lunch. Tini. And then I always put sour cream on mine because that's what I like. We got a guac. Come on. Guac, guac, guac. Feel the avocado. Them all again, but it's fine. Hello guys, good morning. It is Thursday. I cannot believe how fast this week has flown by, but it is around 11 right now, 11.37 to be exact. I've just been doing computer work and I uploaded a new vlog today. That's normally what I do every single morning. And I just listed some pieces on like Facebook Marketplace. This is like an Aritzia parka I have not worn in two years and it's just been sitting in my closet. So I'm gonna try to sell that. And then I also listed these two pairs of shoes these are my steve madden's and those are like those are the gucci knockoffs original doc martens that i got a few years ago because i'm already depressed that i don't have my platform docs so i'm probably gonna go buy them today in the proper size and try them on and stuff but i'm just trying to get rid of those because i have not worn those docs since festival season which was like august last year i also have a package here so i'm working with a brand called nude by nature for like an instagram post and stuff so ooh, uh, they sent over a bunch of goodies i don't even know if i'm allowed to show this in the vlog i'll show you guys and if i'm not allowed then we'll just have to skip over this part but they sent over a bunch of goodies a lip gloss trio another lip gloss trio i believe what i'm doing for them is i'm doing a giveaway so it will be like two of everything so i have to post this on my instagram and then you guys will have to enter and then I get to give away a bunch of products, which is really fun. Okay guys, my Zara boots just came. And I'm so excited about these boots. Another YouTuber that I watch, Lainey Ozark, she posted about these in her fall outfits video. I saw these on the website, I didn't like them, but when I saw how she styled them, I was like, I literally need those boots so bad. And there's another pair of knee-high boots that I saw on Zara's website that I showed in a previous vlog that I was going to purchase, or that I was considering purchasing but the one thing that I didn't like about it is how tight it was around my calf because then you can't wear like jeans under it or anything you basically have to go bare under it or wear some tights which is fine but I wanted something that was a little bit more practical for the colder months so these ones are a little bit looser so you can actually like stuff some jeans in there or leggings or something the other boots that I was looking at on Zara just came back in stock too the low ones I was gonna buy them but honestly I just mentioned before I miss my docs so I'm probably just gonna purchase those so I got these in a six and a half they look kind of big though so I'm hoping they fit I you guys know I have like the worst luck when it comes to stuff fitting me properly so oh my god I'm stressed I might actually have to get a smaller size guys they're kind of too big for me why am I like this I literally think I'm gonna have to exchange them okay here is what they look like on though they are seriously so cute I'm so obsessed with them I just love the thick chunky sole on the bottom i'm obsessed but i just purchased a size six they'll be here by tomorrow i got them just to compare like i could definitely live with these they do lift up a bit at the back when i'm walking but i'd rather just try the six to be safe they obviously do return so then i'll just return the other pair doesn't fit me which is fine but so obsessed i'll have these linked down below if you guys are interested in getting them all right guys so it is friday morning and i think i'm gonna end the vlog here and i'll just start another weekend in my life video let me know in the comments if you guys prefer two separate videos for a week in my life for example monday to thursday typically and then i do a weekend in my life from friday to sunday the weekend in my life generally ends up not as long so let me know if you want two separate videos or just the whole week 
combined. You guys have some homework. Let me know in the comments. I will talk to you guys in a few days.